got to him. We go out to help the warrior monks patrol the war roads beyond. Why wouldn't we do all that we can for the good of Spira, Spira? Okay, anything else behind you? No. No. Okay, good. I can move past this guy. Uh, maybe later. There's no items. Great. Hey, soldier. You're not a soldier. <laughs> can I go in here? Hello? Yuna, there you are, and everyone else. Except for Waka and Lulu. Oh, there's Lulu. And there's Waka. Okay. Hello. I wonder what smells so nice. Oh, that's me. And the cookies. Stay close to Yuna. Why? She's got Kimari pretty close. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Good, we're on the same page then. <laughs> Uh. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? What? Does Mr. Seymour Sme Se 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 smell bad? Does he smell like a butt? These are the past leaders of the Guado. Where'd I walk up? They all look the same. No, they don't. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh, so he's half Guado, half human. That's why he's got the weird Miku hairstyle. Also, these guys, yeah, they do look similar now that I look at them. Well, Maester Seymour doesn't look like them at all, but you know what? These uh, these guys also look a whole lot older than Seymour. So, you know. Anyway, Yuna, how you doing? Why does he want to see me? Probably wants to marry you. <laughs> that would be horrible. This way, please. Probably wants to do more fan fiction. He needs more material, man. And this is how you get all the material by bringing all the weird people over. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. Okay. Ooh, food. Ah, it's not sugary. Mm. I didn't even see you there. I want to eat it. Aw, what the F is that in the background that was swinging? What the heck? Do you guys have ballerinas to coming in here or something? I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Yeah, of course he did. But I don't know what it is. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Why? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question, and you're explaining things. Yeah, it's weird. It's like I'm you in a video game. You say nothing, then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin, too? Nope. Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkin is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think, either way. Still... Be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. And you shouldn't speak so yeah, loud, you dummy. Alright. You know what, Lulu? You're okay. I used to think you were horrible like Donna, but you know what? You're actually okay. I thought you were going to be evil because of the red eye thing, and the purple lipstick, and the black hair, but you know what? You're alright. You're alright. Kimari, speak no more. Okay. Gotcha. What about you, Oren? Stay on your guard. Why? This guy's just a priest, right? Yeah, man, what the Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against you? Se Seymour's gonna be evil, isn't he? <laughs> Everyone's acting like he I is. Lived a long time in oh. And he's still a good guy at this point. He hasn't done nothing wrong. He even helped us. So why is everyone on edge? It's not like... It's not... You know, normal. Can I talk to you or no? What could it be? I told you, he wants more fan fiction. Can I swing on the rope? I can't swing on the rope, can I? <laughs> Truly, it is good to have guests again. This guy's really creepy. I don't like him. Since Lord Jisco passed away. These halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was 
A great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskol really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a Guado and a human. Yes, I was just told that. He will be the tie. That binds our two races together. Yep, sounds like Fire Emblem. That is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. Hey, that's Eunice. That that's Eunice's job. Trouble. Must I always endure such praise? God, I hate his voice. <laughs> Must I always endure such praise? Welcome. You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Maybe you should put a shirt on. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. A whole bunch of gardeners, go with her. I mean guardians. <laughs> gardeners. <laughs> I should just call them now. We're the gardening group. Oh look, it's a bunch of dead people, right? The fire, the fireflies, the dead, the, not the fly things, but the lights that make the dead people in the far plane, even though the far plane has never been visited by the, 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 the mortals because- This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far plane. Mm. Oh man, you looked almost human for a minute. What the frick? Wait, so are we in the far plane or no? Correct. Zanarkin, as it looked 1,000 years ago. I'm confused. I'm <laughs> lost. What, did he collect a bunch of fireflies? And I don't even know. The great and wondrous Machina city, Zanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> She who? Yeah, she who? My mother. Right? Mother? Hello? I'm guessing it's his mother. Oh, who the flip is that? Now where are we? Lady Unaleska. Unaleska? She was the first person to defeat Sin. And save the world from its ravages. Leska. And you have inherited her Okay, name. good. <laughs> it was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone. She had Lord Zeon, right? Undefeatable this is when you're gonna get into your it fan fiction? Bond of love you are gonna ask me to marry you, aren't you? Binds two hearts for eternity. I mean, by me, I mean Yuna. Well, listen, no! Who's that? That's Zeon? Is that Zeon? Lord Zeon? The guy you were talking about earlier? God, that woman is naked. <laughs> How did she not get killed ever? Her husband's got like tons of body armor and then she's just like all naked. That was adorable, but listen, I don't love you. Love is different than that. But uh, wait, what? <laughs> love is different than what we've got going on here. Gotcha. God, you are tall. Don't touch me. Don't whisper in my ears. Stupid Miku hair, Miku hairstyle. You look like a freaking Absol with, but with two horns, and they're longer and stupider. And they go down instead of up, right? Let me look at my Absol. Yeah, they go down instead of up. <laughs> Oh, I thought she was gonna, like, kill herself or something. I was like, what is going on? 
<laughs> All I heard was, ah, ah, ah. Wow, your face is beat red. No, it's not. You okay? Maybe it is. Uh, I can't tell. Uh, he just asked me to marry him. He just asked me to have a child with him. He, he asked me to marry My him. My god, I can see things from a mile you away. Serious? <laughs> uh, hey. You know what Yuna must do. She must refuse. Of course. Lady Yuna. No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace. You have freaking purple nails and they're pointed. Sin. She must ease the suffering of all spirit. No, 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 no. She must be a leader for the She people. must not marry weird strangers with Miku hair looking things. Spira is no play. -out. Exactly. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Exactly. Even so, the actors must play their parts. No, they must not. Now go get a haircut. Seriously, your hair is ridiculous. There's no need to answer and shave down there. Please, think and put a shirt on. We will do so then. We leave. You're just too young for you. I await your favorable reply. She's a minor. That's sick. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> You're like 72 years old. 72 years old. You're like in your 20s. Why are you still Stop. Here, sir? It's not that much of a difference, but still, pardon. stop! <laughs> we Guado are keen to the scent of the Farplane. What about the Farplane? I wasn't listening to you. You better not marry him. I swear to God. Hmm. Hold up, what's this thing up here? Nothing? I'm so glad I came over here. <laughs> Let's get the F out of here. <laughs>